is up everybody Bobby here the geek guru geek definitely guru I don't know I am here with my lovely wife Tony Hello. so I had a little mishap with my Elgato the other day and I recorded and did a whole bunch of Mario Maker let's plays and all that stuff and you know with my stump the guru video series I'm starting and it did not record the audio for whatever reason I can't figure it out on one level I played it did but it was like in and out and all that stuff so I figured we're gonna just do voiceover we're gonna commentate mm -hmm. basically what took place um, kind of stinks because you don't get the raw reaction might be good for some because I was kind of getting a little frustrated oh, he, on it. he was getting a little hyper there yeah so <laughs> this um this gives us the ability to um, just kind of go on the fly and all that so we're gonna start off with a level from um, Hallis and Holly um, or how I'm sorry Halcyon Holly I don't say Halcyon Halcyon Holly uh, she was on the geek cast this past week with Toby and I in the conversations about Mario Maker it made her want to go get this game and, and make a level and try it so um, that's the first level we're gonna do so let's uh, jump into that shall we Okay, so here we go. This is uh, Holly's level. Um, you can see the ID in the bottom left-hand corner. I encourage you guys to check it out uh, for sure. In playing this, she told me prior that there was an easy route, a hard route. So I kind of like want to start off and I want to try to find the easy route. I'm not really 100% sure where it is. So I just want to see how easy easy is. But I kind of feel like she's going to take the mentality of Toby, which... Toby swears up and down he's not a troll, but as you guys will see in this video. I don't know, Toby. Yeah, you'll see in this video, <laughs> Toby is very trollish. Um, but that's, I guess that's a British thing. So, um, <laughs> so sorry, Holly. It's just how it is. But Holly, again, was on the Geek Cast this past week. Uh, she'll be on again this week or next week. I'm not sure exactly which one I'm doing yet. But um, So here we go. Um, starts off pretty basic. Not too difficult. With your little flying hat. Yes. Uh, propeller hat. I've never had the experience of using a propeller hat. It's because you never played the new, no. the new Mario Bros. No. So you start off and you, you know you can see and I'm like, oh man, this is going to be good. Like, you know, but there's lackatoos. There's lackatoos everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> like she said. All up in my heart. All right, stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so it's... Very easy. Um, as you can see, she has LOL there at the That's end of the, the level. Best. That's the um, best. So at this point, I decide, like, I'm going back and forth in my mind. And I'm like, do I want to try it again? Do I not want to try it again? Should I go back and give it another shot and see if I can beat what she has on the table for us? Did he do it? And, you know, I do. I go back. <laughs> and Because I just want to see how difficult difficult yeah. is. Because she was saying there was two ways through the level now i might not have i might have given up a little too early i don't know um but i go back in again and, and try again to see if i can find the second way so this time i decide okay i'm not going to go the top because the top was very very easy i'm going to go this way um and as you can see like i'm like yeah i got this but then all of a sudden once i lose my propeller hat it's trouble like very quickly i fall into it I always have problems with these trampolines for whatever reason. Because if you don't time it right, you just can't yeah. get up. Um, but at this point, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Like, I beat this level. I'm on. I'm moving on to the next one. So I pretty much um, don't really necessarily call it quits. Because I go back at it one more time to give it another shot. Um, yeah, you're not very good with the trampolines. I, no. I don't know what it is there. It's just hard to jump. I mean, it's hard. You gotta hit it right and jump off of it at the right time. I will say, look, the lapitudes are all over. Yeah. Okay. Like, you did the exact same thing you did the last time, almost. Yeah. Except that you weren't that small in this position. No. Right there, you should have just been like, yeah, I'm just gonna give up. Because I'm gonna get... That's right. No, I go. But then I realize this, that like, there's nowhere else, there's nowhere to, else go. to go. And that's where I'm like, alright, I'm done. I'm out. Because I look at it, I'm like, there's no way to look get around here. But I think you have to get down below 
and go across the very bottom. You have to be big. You well, Isn't that, that what you said? Yeah, so that we could break through the blocks. Right. But I was just like, and that's what I was looking for a block to do it. And then I was just like, nah, I'm done. So, um, again. It was a good, it was a yeah. good board battle. Like, yeah, it's, you know, it's a good cool. level. It's a fun level. But, I, you know, again, check out her level. Uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. It's fun. And maybe you can explore it and beat the hard way if you can. So, uh, let's see what we're going to get into here next. So, at this point, we're going to try out Karina's Kingdom. Again, Karina. the code is in the bottom left-hand corner. Karina, for those that don't know, is Toby's wife. Um, she did this level. She slapped it together. So, I told Toby that I would give it a shot. Um, but it's a, it's a good little level. For her first I level, so. I was impressed with, uh, with it being her first level. I was very happy with it. Like, I like levels that are... Like old school Mario levels, like not super hard. They're fun to play, you know. Like you find little secrets or whatever. Like I'm cool with that. Like they're the type of levels I'm really into. Um, Karina's level was was you know just fun. It was it was a quick, um, easy. I thought level. that it looked like a real level. Yeah, um, it's not very challenging, but it's you know it's like you would see in a Mario game, like you little, you know flying Koopas there and, and all that stuff like it's not super long it's nothing like that like it's it's pretty basic but it's fun you know I enjoyed it um, but for the first one I think for it's the first one good. she did a good job like, I, I like how she has a little chain chomp yeah, there and, yeah. you know cause that's, that's you know it could have been a little bit longer she could have pushed it a little bit further but knowing Toby he was probably there like Quarterback and her armchair quarterbacking her and, and like, telling her, play. yeah, do this and all that stuff. No, you so you should put this here. Yeah, so it could have been longer, but it's I blame Trolly enough. Yeah, I, I blame Toby. <laughs> I, I blame Toby for that. That it, it could have been longer, but it's his fault it's that it wasn't longer. Being. So uh, all right, so we're gonna jump into Toby's level, and I'm gonna show that one off as well. All right, so again, the code is in the bottom left-hand corner. This is Breezy Hilltop by Toby. Um, basically, what happened was, was I played his last level, and I feel like his levels are kind of trollish. So I called him on this, and he got upset with me. He said, I made a level that's not that difficult. And I don't... Lies! Yeah, although I did die on a very stupid part there. Yeah, that um, was your own fault. Yeah, but it's... You know, it... it this one isn't super hard. It just takes a while to figure it out. And there are some troll elements to it, I feel. He doesn't feel that way. I, I think he gets upset when I say he's trollish. I feel that Toby does puzzles. Yes. To yes, Toby does puzzle, puzzle levels, for sure. Um, but he thinks that he's so much better because he can fly through his own levels. And I said to him, like, dude... You make the level. You know where all the secrets are. It's easy for you. Like, for someone that doesn't know, it's a little difficult. Um, but still, like, I feel like his levels are very well thought out. I feel like he takes time with his levels and he makes them, you know... It makes you feel like when you beat his levels, like, you accomplish something. Yeah. Um, because it's not, you know, it's not where it's a skill. It's... I for think, his, you have to think what you're doing. I was going to say, you need a lot of strategy yes. and, and to really think about it. Yeah. It's not just, like, going through it. Yes. And with other levels, like, uh, Colin Carabin did one. Uh, Colin from the Warp Hustle podcast, Mark's brother. And that's just straight up, like, out of control. <laughs> like, you need to be, like, the wizard level playing like Fred Savage from the wizard like that Aww. little kid that he took like you gotta have mad skills to play his level so um but here at this point I'm kind of like what do I do like I you know I know I gotta take the coins out and get the P block but I'm like yeah you know what? I'm gonna skip that and then I come down here and I'm like oh wait a minute I could use the P block to kind of go across or the P switch to you yeah to go across so I think I go back, but I don't think I can get back up there, if I'm not mistaken. It's too small. I don't remember if you got back up there. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, you did. did. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, but the block was missing. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So I had to sacrifice kill, or at least try the level if I could, and I don't think I even really gave it a wholehearted attempt. I kind of just like, whatever. Yeah. 
Like, I, I try, but it's just... Yeah. Yeah. It, there, there wasn't much effort in it, because I knew I was kind of in trouble at this point. Um, but at least you knew about the... Yeah. The so and then, then I just you died again die there. <laughs> the same spot. Yeah. Well, the Goomba just is, you know... Yeah. You gotta make a good jump there. Yeah. Well, you just gotta... Did you ever try going down that pipe? Over there? Did you go down That's the one that I just pipe? went down. No, that one. On the right. That's the one I just went down. The oh, one that one the there? Goombas you can't. When stuff's coming out, you can't. Because the Goombas coming out. Yeah. Okay. When there's stuff coming out, you can't go down. You kept doing this. Oh, like... I think you were starting to mess with the turtle shell this time. This and, way. I was going this way. And you way. kept messing up with the turtle shell. Well, this way I was... That's where I screwed up. Yeah. Because I sent it down. But, again, it takes you a little bit of time to figure out what you're doing. Which way you're going with it all. Um, you know. It, it's just a basically, a, you know, a test. you got to keep testing things out and figuring out what's, what's what. I know I was getting a lot of one-ups out of it. If this was a real Mario level, this would be the best because I would just sit here and rack up all the one-ups before I continue on in my game. Um. Now, see, I feel like while you find levels like this frustrating, and they probably do get frustrating after a while, for someone like me, I feel like... It would be a good distraction for like my anxiety. Yeah, but that's by, no by one. really thinking be, about it or something. You'd be so anxious. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if I would, if it would annoy me like after a while. But I feel like I would really have to like use my brain here and really, really think about it. And I think that that would be sort of fun. But then again, maybe like after a couple minutes, I'd be like, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So, I, at this point, I'm kind of, like, looking at this and saying, like, there's got to be something over here. There's got to be a way. Yeah. Like, I kind of... Think... Well, you, you know about the turtle shell. No. You're, you, you just got to... I know not the... to use a turtle shell. But you keep doing something. No, because I'm doing it by mistake. Yeah. It isn't until this time, I yeah. think, that I realize, like, okay, if you want to do this, you need to fly. Like, so... No, this time I go to the right again, and I get hit here. And then... Because once you do those two, you're kind of, like, jammed up. There's no getting back out of there. Yeah. Um, so now I come back over this way. You just have things all over yeah, the place. Yeah, I'm... Like, you could tell sometimes where I'm getting frustrated and I'm, like, done in my head. But this is the time where I, like... This is where I realize, like, okay, if I hit it, I need to move quick to the left. Mm -hmm. Like, if I want to go down here. Because you gotta get rid yeah. of all that stuff. So that's the time where I realized, like, okay, if I want to do this, I gotta fly down here. Now, this is the one where he says it's not trollish. And I said to him, like, these donut blocks at the bottom, it leads you to a dead end wall. He was like, well, that's mm -hmm. to go back up the other way. I'm like, well, what point's that? Like, if you fall down, you go right. Like, it, it's lowering down to the right. So it's making you believe you have to go right, but you dead end into a wall. So. Yeah, they should be point, kind of pointing you over. They should lead you back direction. up. Like, both sides should lead you back up or help you get back up. But the one thing where you just go right into the stall, that's just like a death trap. Yeah. This is the time, I think, where I come down. Let's see what I do here. Oh, yeah. I see the donut blocks, and I'm like, okay. Do I want to go this way? And that's where I realize, like, oh, there's donut blocks here. This must be going this way. Because he's got that kind of blocked off. I was thinking the donut blocks would lead me back up to that level. Right. Um, or around those blades a little bit. I figured Toby would try to help a little bit. But no, he just wants to make it very difficult on me. And it's not even on me. He's trying to make it difficult on everybody. Because he just... See, and, and people that don't realize... Like, I play with Toby a lot of other games. And he does stuff in spite of me. Like, he tries to mess with me. Like when he shoots you in Grand Theft yeah, Auto yeah. or runs into your car. Yeah, or, or he like <laughs> kicks me out of his car. Like this, right here. Like, so this so is where I'm like, do do? where do I go? <laughs> I probably could have went back left. But I was just like, what is he doing? Like, this makes no sense. So now I'm, I'm really frustrated. Like, at this point, I'm like, all right, come on. This is nonsense. So because in my mind, I'm trying to figure out, like, where do I go here? This doesn't make sense. And then I'm like, all right, I have to go to the right. That's got to be the way it is. 
but I don't think part of me just doesn't want to mess with the right no more. I'm like so at this point I know in my mind in my mind my thinking is I'm kind of deflated. I'm aggravated with him. <laughs> but then I'm like, all right, I can't give up. Yes, Toby, you're lucky you didn't get the original commentary here. Yeah, it was. It was, pretty, <laughs> it was pretty. Bad. It was. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That bad. It was pretty. It was. It got bad for Chris Parliament. Like that was <laughs> bad because I was so frustrated with that dude. That was a crazy level. Yeah, and that'll probably go up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. We're probably gonna put that video up Saturday. This one, this one should go up. This it should be Friday if you're watching this. But it was good. Gotta stump people, man. Stump the guru. I'm not literally. Like it's just a name. Just kind of like geek guru. Like I'm not really a guru. I'm a geek, yes, but it's just a, it's the name. Like I don't want to really, honestly, be stumped. I don't mind, whatever. Because <laughs> when I accomplish it, that's the good thing. Like, like I said, Colin Carabin, there ain't no like you gotta like I know I need I could beat his level. I know I could beat his level, but it's gonna take me. Well, there was one that you did. I, I think it was last week. Oh, the loop to lava. Yeah. I was like, there was no way. Yeah, and then you was, did it. No, 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 that was no, the other No, 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 I'm talking about last week. There was one that you were trying and trying and trying. I think yeah. it was last week. Or yeah. I don't know if it was from this. Um, but there was one you were trying, 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 and then you finally got it, and it was yeah. like... Yeah, once you, like... The main thing with these videos is, like, you don't want to be there the whole time, like, doing stuff over and over and over and over and over and boring people with it. But, you know, at the same time, you want to try to do the best you can. Um, the main thing too is if you're not hearing music, that's lovely Nintendo. Yeah. They uh, they put a strike against my video, so my last video. So I decided to like cut the music out and kind of put my own music underneath it, hoping that they're not going to strike this video too. But who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? I don't understand their whole YouTube policies and all that stuff. So. I feel like that's dumb because yeah. it's like advertising for them. It's absolutely dumb. Especially when I have people like, you know, I got other video game companies that are basically telling me like, do what you want to do with our stuff. Yeah. It works. It's cool. It's advertising. Yeah. Absolutely. You're, you're not like, you know, you're, you're showing people how fun this game is. Yeah. They should like that. And you're not the only one that does videos on these. I mean, a lot of people do yeah. and they have the same problem. Yeah. So then this is where I got confused because this is where I'm like, all right, this don't make sense. I'm actually going the wrong way is yeah. the problem. And I realize that I realize that now that I, I went the wrong way and that's that's where I was struggling. So now what's he saying with the donuts? Where are they that I was Because the donuts are, if I fall off this way, it's to help me to go back. If I fall off on the right, oh, to go it's back to help me to, to go back up thing. to the left okay. to get back up there. But I didn't realize it in the heat of the game. Yeah. It wasn't until I talked to him later that <laughs> I know I keep dying there. <laughs> but that I realized when I when I die there, it's because I'm frustrated from the time before. Yeah, you're not. You're just trying and, to rush through uh, yeah. this part. And I'm like, you know, whatever. Like I said, I think I think Toby does a good job. I, I think, like I said, his his levels are good with puzzles. Like I, you know. I definitely think anybody that would um, anybody that likes puzzles would like yeah. Toby's. Uh, yeah, anybody that kind of wants to like to really like think yeah. At this point, really I just think. die. I'm like this yeah, is you're this. just like I don't care yeah. anymore. Well, because I can't get up there, and I'm just like whatever. Um, I have to say those Goombas shooting out of that. Uh, that's a bit BS. Well, I, I, I they're flying like you can tell like I'm like running into this stuff. I'm so <laughs> aggravated. But the first time I saw the, the thing shoot out, I'm like, oh my gosh, where did that thing come from? Like, I mean, it just shoots out at you. And you know, Toby Toby said he likes when I when I play his, his levels because he gets he likes to watch me mess up and stuff. And mm -hmm. I know he's sitting there watching this now, like giggling and stuff, like like oh, you shouldn't let that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you dummy! You almost had it. You blew it. Oh, that's where you're supposed to go. Yeah. But I think. You know, what if you went all the way up to the top and couldn't go up there? No. See, I try to think of things, and then it's yeah. not. It doesn't work. 
<laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Mario games, so sometimes I forget that there's things that you can't do in Mario. Yeah. I used to be a Mario freak, but I quit. I don't know why. I, you know, I leave and I always come back. I think I'll tell you what, though. This game has actually got me, um, Mario Maker has got me going back and playing other Mario games. I... I've been playing Mario 1 and Mario 2 on my 3DS. Oh, Mario 2 is awful. No, it's not. It's the best. It's best awful. One. This Mar is when I realized... Mario 3 is the best. This is when I realized... I got him now. Like, I know where I gotta go. It's just a matter of getting there. So I guess you can't ride on top of those. You can, but you I can. didn't... Yeah, but I didn't... Well, at the end, yeah. There's so much going on. Yeah, but if this isn't that hard, though, you can kind of just kind of ride down and, you know. I think I remember what happens. Unless I'm thinking of another course that you did. I don't know. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, no, no, you finished it. Yeah. yeah. I so, forgot you finished yeah. this. So all in all, this was um, uh, this was an enjoyable level. I, I liked it. it. Took me 14 minutes approximately to beat. Um, so it wasn't as difficult as other ones. That so you it didn't wasn't run. really trolling. No, it just I don't went think so. Way. Yeah, pretty much. So um, that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. You can follow me, Instagram, Twitter, at the Geek Gurus. Follow Tony at TWH Tony. That is all. Peace, mother. Bye bye.